Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Pizza Boy, as I'm calling it. Let's continue. So we used the wrong tool, a wrench, to try to break down this boarded window. We ended up in the wall. So, since we have nothing as far as this, I imagine I'm just supposed to, as a wall, panic and break the wall down. Let's see. Look. In such a state of panic, this might have been an interesting experience. Hmm. Talk. No time to start talking to myself. Besides that, hmm. I'm always talking. And push. Wait a minute. I am the wall. The other side of it leads to the crime scene. Hmm. I just have to turn around and. Yeah, that's nice and quiet. I feel so much better now. Hey, how did you get in here? Long story, bro. What mm. do you want from me? We're just gonna have a little talk. One more of these interview sections. Of course, I won't have Pazool or anything to slap them around. So here's Roger Romero, the dead body that we threw out the window. It seems like there's nothing else in this room and I have no inventory items so talking is kind of all we can do that's the man I came here to see I should talk to him fighting is not the way here hmm. I thought maybe you'd push him out the window into his body say mister oh my an admirer the lengths you hmm. walked to meet me <laughs> you came to the afterlife I'm so honored I didn't come to meet you well I did but I'm not your admirer. I, I don't even know who you are. Ah, hmm. the years. They have not been gentle to my looks. But I assure you, I am the one and only Roger Romero. Okay, Mr. Romero. This feels like it's going to be at least five minutes of conversation. Questions. By all means. Is this an interview? At your heart's content. I have to find what's the connection between him and Dawn. Nadia seems to be the missing link, the one that connects both of them together. But who is Roger? I'll let him speak a little before starting the interrogation. Let's start from the beginning. Tell me your name and a little bit about who you are. Oh, this is one of those stories. I really need no introduction. I'm the Magnifico Roger Romero, actor extraordinaire, famous bodybuilder and ex-entrepreneur inventor of the Romer bars the only energy bars that guarantee that your hair won't fall out but you're kind of fat I'm pretty sure you're wearing a wig that's what happens when you go bankrupt and can't keep eating Romer bars I blame the consumers Romer bars were ahead of their time years of hamburgers have not managed to fill that hole in my heart except for my arteries those they filled pretty well so <laughs> Let's focus on... That was kind of funny. Ask about the Roman bars. Ask about the acting career. Ask about the motel. We might as well start at the top since you have to do all three. You haven't mentioned how this motel fit in your life. How did you end up here? Well, I bought this beautiful Victorian-style house, the only one in Lisbon, mind you, as my retirement home. But it was too big of a home for myself. So I decided to reopen it once again as a petite motel. I also still have debts because of the Romer bars. That helped too. This is going nowhere. Hmm. Let's try something else. Interesting. So apparently we have to ask about the Romer bars first. You talk about the Romer bars a lot. What happened there? Made some enemies? Something related to your death? Oh, nothing like that. The Romer bars were just too good for this world. And some baby in Brazil was born without eyes, and some scientists testified that it was because of the bars. I still think it was your parents who plucked her eyes out. This is going hmm. nowhere. Let's try something else. Ask about the acting career, I suppose. You said you're an actor. You didn't leave that part of your life exactly behind, right? What are you implying? I notice that there are a lot of lights and cables and cameras and costumes around. Oh, yes, of course. Trinkets of my life as a star. 
keepsakes, if you will. So, that's all in the past now? Well, now it is. But as you might have heard, I know news like this flies around you paparazzi people. I was about to make a comeback, a big one. I was about to film my first film with Cavera in more than 20 years. It was to be a werewolf movie. And as you know, a werewolf morphing scene is what makes or breaks a horror director such as Oliveira. It's almost strange that this was his first. A werewolf? That has Doc Mendoza written all over it. This is the time to change strategy. Ask the serious questions. Like, I'm not sure I really need this much help. I don't know what the tabloids have been telling me, but I never had relations with that man. I don't even know who this dog mandioca character is. That's strange, hmm. because he disappeared in your motel. He was with a woman named Nadia. Does that ring a bell? I don't know any woman by that name. They were investigating a gypsy curse. You don't know anything about that either, right? Uh, no, of course not. There were also rumors about a group of people meeting here in this motel. Hmm. Nonsense. Is this one of those stories? Motel Romero has been a family place since the day I opened its doors. This is a place where you can bring your children. I'm not associated with any unwanted elements of society. Neither do I know the persons you are mentioning and about gypsy curses. Ha! There is no such thing as a gypsy curse. All right, Mr. Romero. If you're not going to be nice, neither am I. Hmm. So now we've got three different questions. This is too so long. You say you don't know anything about a man called Dog and a girl named Nadia? That's accurate. I may have heard about Dog Mediocre. Is he a wrestler or something? It sounds like the name of a wrestler. Hot and rabid. A greasy wife beater in a pink tutu. But this woman, Nadia. I know absolutely no one by that name. I've never heard of someone with that name before. No, no. You've <laughs> never heard of anyone named Nadia. Okay. Confront, I suppose? That's strange. Because an old associate of yours directly related you to her. Calumnies! <laughs> How dare that ungrateful twerp tarnish my name after all I did for him. I also saw a photo of the two of you together. Oh, don't bother. <laughs> Nowadays, anything can be photoshopped. It was a really old photo. Look, I don't know where you're getting all these rumors. Is that this kind of story? I told you, I don't know anyone by that name. There's something <laughs> odd. What is it? He is no in the present term. He said he didn't know anybody her by that name. So you might know her by some other name, right? I, I no, no, of course not. <laughs> You're hesitating a lot. What are these sudden accusations? What kind of story do you want to write? You're the worst journalist ever. I didn't think about it. But Nadia might not even be her real name. Maybe she's the one who's hiding something. No, duh. Why are you so scared to talk about the gypsy curse? Ha! Hmm. There are no such things as gypsy curses. Hmm, tease? A big man such as you wouldn't be that superstitious. Exactly. I mean, you're so full of pride, there's simply no space for anything else. Are you making hmm. fun of my weight? Is that this kind of story? No, no. They're just repeating the same joke over and over again. Even for you. I'll have you know that I used to be pretty buff back then. It took all those hamburgers to fill the hole the rumor bars had left in my life. They filled my arteries pretty well. Until the end. There's something odd. Hmm. What is it? The cause of death. Back then. I'm going to go with the cause of death, but I could be wrong. The hamburgers filled your arteries? Were you suffering from a heart condition? You weren't murdered? Sadly, hmm. no. It would have been a tragic tale. I would have made it to the front page. But alas, no. It was the burgers and a heart tired hmm. of rushing against the waves. 
I wonder if he's still trying to hide his fear of a gypsy curse, or if he's honest and the cause of death is not related to it. Either way, this raises other questions. It's not what I asked, but I'll take what I can get. This is such an odd system. Usually in a point-click adventure game, you have lines of dialogue that will either exhaust themselves completely and disappear, or they'll go in circles because they're jokes. Uh, so if somebody, say, they were asking for money and the character was always going to say no, you could just continuously ask for money and you just say, nope, nada, never, over and over again with different responses of no. Uh, but in this case, like, there's actual vital information behind each question, but you have to play an interrogation matching game that's actually not as bad as L.A. Noir, but it's still not good. There, there's kind of a reason why I can only name two games now that have ever had a system like this. Why are you hiding all those meetings with your friends? Believe me, if I had any friends worth hiding, they wouldn't have any reason to hide. Let's try empathizing. I get it. This might have happened right under your nose. Maybe you just turned a blind eye to it. Yes. Hmm. I offered my trademark charm and warmth to all the guests. But how am I supposed to remember the names of two of them? There's something odd. Hmm. What is it? The numbers. Why did you say two? I never said they were two men. I don't hmm. know. I was applying a random number. Why else would there only be two men? I don't know. You tell me. What were their names? I already told you I don't know these two gentlemen that allegedly met at my motel. He will keep denying it, but he clearly knows. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. And now we can finish him. All right. I think I heard enough. I'll tell you what kind of story I can make up with your statement. Make up. After the crash of your rumor bark business, you were left with a lot of debt. Like everyone with no skills and no brains in your position, you seeked the help of the wrong people. To get out of trouble, you decided to do the only thing you know how to do. A movie. So you and your girlfriend found out about this werewolf detective and decided to snatch him for your movie. No, that didn't happen. I mean, look at you. You have no acting skills, and you lost your looks long ago. Uh, it could only work with a real werewolf. But when you found out that Nadia had managed to fool him, you were so excited that you had a heart attack. That's not what happened at all. Again, she what's written is not what was man. said. Admit it. You made up the gypsy curse to get my boss here so Nadia and you could get rid of the debt. Stop saying that. Her name was not Nadia. What? I said her name was not Nadia. Her name was Morello. Nadia was just a stage name she used to hide her gypsy roots. She was cute like that. Didn't want to be judged by where she came from. Didn't want to be judged by how she looked. And she looks stunning. Always funny. Always brave. Much braver than me, that's for sure. You have no right to soil her name like that. I think it's time to confess. I'm already dead, for God's sake. My reputation can't get any lower. Get your hearts ready for a tale of woe and regret. This was that kind of story. I never uh, was smart, but I had It's probably way. another five minutes of dialogue here. But I was also a coward. And I liked it. I really did. Thomas Cavera and that monster came to me. He wasn't looking for talent, which I didn't have any of. But he wanted my looks. My looks and my big ego. I would have done anything to shine on the silver screen. We did monster movies together. Tons of them. None had any great success. But some people cherished the special effects. It was way before CGI, you know. And Morella was there. Sometimes when we needed a female lead. And she didn't ever treat me like a tool. She was nice. But she couldn't hide her Roma heritage. Those green eyes. That black hair. Yeah, she was a gypsy, all right. 
Times were different back then. I didn't know what we were doing. Not back then. It's a terrible thing. When she died on that stage, the others let her bleed to death. I was too scared to do anything. And she damned us. All of us. Morella cursed us with her last spit. Blood gushing out of her mouth. And we swore to never tell a soul. Tavera and the monster would come often to see me. To see if I was still true to our word. To remind me. The last time they actually came to talk about a new movie. That bit is true. I was really excited for the first time in many years. And that's when she came back. As beautiful as the day she died. Preserved like a stone rose. Her eyes piercing through me. Piercing my bad, tired, maltreated heart until it stopped. I have no excuses anymore. Wait, what terrible things are you talking about? Who was the monster? What? <laughs> What? Kazoo? You... I was so close! Oh, now I can't go back to being a ghost until the next moon cycle. Yeah, I know. I asked you to wake me up if the candle was waning. Thanks. I would be trapped back there otherwise. At least I got the name <laughs> of the director. But I don't know who he is. You know who might? My friend Vasco! He loves this stuff, and his encyclopedic knowledge might register the name. He's such a nerd. I should call him. Hello? Vasco? Hey, man. How are you? So, Listen, the, the thing here is, quick. comic books don't directly translate to video games that well, because they have too much dialogue, too much you writing in them. Comic books are mostly I'm on my way. are mostly dialogue, and you can get it to being close to 50% animated still action and dialogue if you are writing a story that is high action like superheroes hero stories. Uh, and of course, superhero stories translate to movies when there's a lot of action in him. But if you were talking a comic book that's no action or almost no action, it only works as a book. Writing stories and making something that's visual and audio are drastically different. And clearly I don't give a darn about any of the dialogue that's happening right now. <laughs> Uh, because I'm talking over it. About this guy that turned into a monster <laughs> and four other monsters, but he's kind of an unrecognized genius of FX's. <laughs> His gory depiction of the battles and their costumes put kaiju movies to shame. He inspired modern classics like Human Washing Machine. I thought we were close to the end washing machine okay. of this he seems like episode. Can I find him? But he's a very I don't know. Man. He lives in his own private cinema, somewhere inside the park's labyrinth. It's said that the whole theme park is a test to see who is worthy of meeting him. But no one knows exactly how. Great. Hmm. He's my only lead and we'll have to solve a giant puzzle to find him. Night's just getting better and better. See, this guy looks like one of the characters in the case files. And we've got the spell book and the silver chain that's not really silver. And we're just in our next, the next section of gameplay. Let's right click just make sure there's nothing else to click on in here. So, I'm much more leaning to the thought that there is only one adventure in this whole game. Like, one consistent story. And it's just going to be incredibly long. And spread out from where it started to something more of a conspiracy. Let's 
Let's grab some postcards. Do our standard point click adventure thing. Does that mean that they are free? I guess I'll just grab one to test my theory. <laughs> Whoa, this one has a photo of some ugly mascot. I can't believe Tavares Forte are FX. So some of those things were at the hotel, but could I go back to the hotel and get those costumes? A complimentary umbrella to enjoy the park on rainy days. I should take one. They're free after all. Hmm. So that's two things. Let's see if we can ring the bell. Come here and test hmm. your strength. You have what it takes to make the bell ring? Hmm. I'd like to give it a try. You? Okay, if you can lift hmm. the hammer, I guess you can try. Hmm. I usually have a snarky remark, but that was just too sad. Hey, the machine is rigged. The perk gets stuck on the way up. You cheated. Pathetic excuses from a pathetic excuse of a man. Next! There is no one else. Next! Hmm. So, we'll have to find something greasy or something. Unless there's something as simple as wedging the machine. Let's see, we can try shooting out the eyes with a Broken gun, curved barrel. Men, impress the ladies. Ladies, prove that you don't need a man to stand up for you. Everybody wins. Hi, I'd like to try this game. Good luck. Not that such a handsome man needs it. That's too bad. Guess we'll all question your manhood now. Hey. That's unfair. The crosshairs were off. Oh, don't make excuses for your pathetic display. You're hmm. only embarrassing yourself. So all of these are rigged. And then there's a maze, which I assume there's something more to the maze than just wandering around it and finding the solution. What's this? So you, you're at the back of the targets. So there is something we need to do there. We could go this direction. The Garva. That's the person we're trying to meet. And there's nothing over here. Chain. Let's see. Maybe if we use the chain with the structure I have no use for that it's just like the wrong response for that doesn't make any sense this is what he should be saying something along that line so we can go to the food court or we can do the roller coaster hmm And we have salad vendor, and I guess that's the first person to see if we can get a salad. Why we need a salad, I don't know. Can I have some of that olive oil? Oh, you're one of those customers. The ones that don't buy anything and expect salad dressing for free. I just wanted to know if I can have some of that oil. Go hmm. ahead. Just act like you're a very special snowflake and everyone should give you some for free. <laughs> I'll just take that. Okay, so the olive oil probably is for the weight on the hammer test. That would make sense. Oil it up. We have a mentalist. We have a jelly bean jar. So between the two of those, something. We have a man in a costume. Let's talk to him. 
wax museum. Say, huh? Get lost. Oh, come hmm. on. I'm trying to make new friends here. Give me a hand. Still, you want to be my friend, huh? Tell you what. Do me a favor, and we'll be friends. Okay. It's been a lousy day, or a lousy month, or even a lousy lifetime. You know what hmm. I mean? Terrible sore in my mouth, and overtime at work. My girlfriend's not happy, and she's pulling the last straws. You know hmm. what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. We need something to rekindle that fire. If you can find me a present for my girlfriend, I'll give you my badge. It has many perks, like getting coffee for free. Hmm. It has to be free, but also from a person that'll buy me at least one more month of relationship. Got it. Interesting. Wow. That's an interesting thought. It's like, I'm just trying to stay in this relationship for one more month. <laughs> Alright, so... See if we can just take the jelly beans. Hey, what are you doing? Give that back. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Olive with an olive in it. Olive oil, the vegan alternative to green. Hmm. And postcard. Start with a group picture of the crew of this place. Hmm. Let's talk to this guy. Yep. And test your mental prowess. Prove what you always held deep inside of you as true. Then hmm. you're the smartest person in the room. Can I take a guess? Of course, young man. Tell me, how many jelly beans does this jar hold? 251,521. Nope. For the smartest person in the room, you're pretty dumb. Hmm. So, unless I'm supposed to swap him, I have no use for that. which I don't think I'm supposed to, I'm probably supposed to go use the olive oil first. There in the tent that says you're a mentalist. Can you guess what number I'm thinking? I'm the great Andrew. I don't do cheap parlor. And what do you do? See and behold. You're sleepy. Very, very sleepy. Hmm. Tell me something I don't know. It's been a rough night, eh? <sighs> when you hear the word obstetrician, you will become something from a very popular franchise. Obstetrician. My name's Garber. Enough! <laughs> Obstetrician! I don't want Mr. Cavera sued because of me. What the hell was that? Guybrush sleeper in from... Is it you? Yes. Hmm. For a moment, you got to feel what it is like to be in a great game. Welcome back to dull reality. See, I'm and this joke is... abilities will come in handy sometime. I just don't know how. It's kind of an admittance that uh, this is really like I don't even want to talk to him. Uh, but I guess I have to. So, so clearly they know good games. They just aren't Learning the right lessons, in my opinion, from them. And the, these spinning things stop spinning for a while. There's a whole load that's happening there. Can you change so, I become? so much for a, a like to be? new engine. I want to become my friend Vasco. I want to become you. No dialogue there. I can do that. You're sleepy. Very, very sleepy. Hmm. Tell me something I don't know. It's been a rough night, eh? Hmm. <sighs> when you hear the word obstetrician, you will become me. Obstetrician. 
I'm the great Eureka. You're sleepy. Very, very sleepy. Enough. Obstetrician. This is becoming too meta. Hmm. Come back if you want to test my powers and become someone else. And so I imagine I need to change the word to but I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm supposed to do with that yet there's a couple places we need to go into we need to check out the wax museum check out the roller coaster check out the maze and there's clearly a lot to do in this new section if anything I would call this act two in a really long game arguably we are in actually in something closer to act three or four in something that could be five or six acts long i'm trying really hard not to obsess over the case files and the potential that this game is just extremely extremely long uh i more and more i'm, I'm starting to believe that that's not the case but even ignoring the case files element that implies the game is really long, there is also just instances that we've been playing for an incredibly long amount of time. I, I don't really have any confidence that once we get through this whole puzzle section, th we will be done with the story. I don't think so. Uh, if anything, I imagine there will be another interview section. I imagine there will be another small puzzle. I imagine we have at least another hour and a half of gameplay. And man, this is just too long. Too long for the story they're telling and too long for the writing. Uh, there's a ton of writing in this game and none of it is satisfying me. That's problem number one and i've said it almost every episode anyways that's it for this recording as always i ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below thank you for watching have a good evening